Oh, we with Health Beauty and More, and I wanted to talk a little bit about benzodiazepines, which have been prescribed for a long time, um, and one of them is called clonopin, um, was short for clonazepam, and why it is not uh, healthy for us. Um, something that I've I've had pres prescribed to me for many years, and it's for anxiety is what it's for. It's also been used to prescribe for epileptic seizures. It was very popular uh, after 1975, and it became widely abused. I think it's a class three drug, and Stevie Nicks was a 70s era rock star that was addicted to clonopin, and she was in the Betty Ford clinic for a long time and doing her um, her solo album, In Your Dreams. At that time, she, she blamed clonopin for the fact that she never had children. It seems like she said it ruined her life for eight years, and maybe she would have had a baby if it wasn't for that. So she, in 86 is when she overcame her cocaine addiction and after that she was released and when it was prescribed a series of benzos first Valium, the Xanax and later Klonopin uh, to help support her sobriety but she said it turned her into a zombie so it just really messed her up and her anxiety was out the roof or when she was in rehab uh, trying to get unaddicted to it. It came into the market in the 50s and 60s when it was um, used for a lot of neurological disorders which I like epilepsy and anxiety related and other things like insomnia. Uh, they became famous as you know to help with sed sedation and pacifying people. A lot of people came into using it as a detox item when they were trying to get off alcohol or drug addictions. So, talking about clonazepam, you can also buy it under a name of Rivitrol. It's, it's very similar. I think in India that's what they call it. And a lot of times people buy these things um, without prescriptions in other countries. But whether they get through um, customs or not, I don't know. Clonazepam is a di benzodiazepine and it's used for sedation to decrease seizures or anxiety. Uh, it can be available under multiple brand names. Doctor may have suggested this medication for conditions other than those listed in the drug information part pamphlet. But they are addictive and you need to be cautious when driving, um, especially if you are sensitive. The dose is determined based on your need and for someone with anxiety, if nothing else seems to be helping, this is like the least toxic from what I have heard of the other benzodiazepine drugs like Valium and Xanax, Adderall, um, one other one starts with an L that I've heard of. Anyway, just pres it's only to be taken as prescribed by your doctor and if you miss a dose, you're supposed to take it as soon as you can on your regular schedule. Keep it away from light and moisture. Uh, you don't want to, when you're ready to dispose medications, you don't want to throw them down the sink or toilet. It, I think it's better just to go right to the police department because they have a place there where you can dispose medications. So, I would not advise anyone to take clonazepam if they have an allergic reaction to it, have acute narrow angle glaucoma, have um, myasthenia gravis, breathing problem, uh, liver disease, or sleep apnea. And 
it'd be nice in a perfect world, you know, just take it short term and rather than long term. But it isn't that way for most cases. Some people do have side effects with them. You know, drowsiness could be one of them. Inability to focus, maybe. Clumsiness, unsteadiness, lightheadedness, uh, muscle weakness. Those are things to check with your doctor on. Um, confusion or anything like cough, hallucinations, memory loss, nightmare. So just be careful. There's a lot of stuff written on it uh, about it not being uh, very healthy to take. And it's been known to cause mood swings in some people, even depression. So I would just be beware of these things and detox, detox, detox. Use teas, turmeric, garlic, um, anything that you know that helps detox you so your liver stays clean. Another herb, um, there's, there's another one that's really common at the health food store for your liver cleansing called milk thistle. So just keep that in mind if you're on medications at all. Okay. Have a good day, health, beauty, and more. This is Nicole Lee. Bye.